Hello everyone, this is Angel Max, and today, I'm thrilled to share the secrets of creating a Fiverr account successfully. But before we dive into the tutorial, let me show you my real Fiverr earnings over the last 5 months. $58,002, now I get it. There are a lot of fake screenshots floating around on the internet, but trust me, authenticity is key. If you want to earn like this, you need more than just flashy images. You need genuine skills in your niche. Whether it's video editing, graphic design, or any other valuable service. Now, let's kick off this tutorial on how to create a Fiverr account. So make sure you watch this video with me from the start till the end so that you can see how I do it. And see that you can do it yourself on your end as well. To create your Fiverr seller account, you need to go to Fiverr.com. And you come to this page right here. By the way, to check the most popular gigs, this is where you can find them. Website design, WordPress logo design, AI services, but this is something we can talk about later on, maybe in another video where we talk about how to create a quality gig that brings in visitors and hopefully orders. But for now, I'm going to show you how to create your Fiverr seller account so that you can start publishing your gigs and get to work. So now, what you need to do is click on join and enter your email here. I'm just going to put a dummy email so that we can show you the process. Just choose a password. Make sure that you satisfy the criteria of the password. Eight characters or longer. And make sure you combine upper and lower case letters and numbers. Click on continue. And then choose a username. By the way, this is very important. When you're choosing your username, you have to be very careful with that. Because you literally are not able to change it. So, make sure you choose it wisely, and make sure that it corresponds to the niche that you're trying to target. Now, the next thing I need to do is go to my dummy email account, verify your email as Fiverr, sending you a six-digit OTP, paste it here, and boom, you are eligible to become a seller now. Click on selling freelance service, and the next question Fiverr asks you is, what type of freelance are you? Okay, I am single, so I click solo freelance. If you have a company, you can click agency owner. Then click I am just getting started. Wow, now I'll show you how you can create a professional looking profile for your clients to be impressed with you and you'll earn more money. Click complete your seller profile and then click become a seller. What I like about them is they show you how to create your seller profile and publish your gig. You can choose to watch this video. It gives you some tips here and there. Click on continue. And you literally cannot go wrong because they teach you everything you need to know about how to have a successful Fiverr profile. They're telling you that your first impression matters. Create a profile that will stand out from the crowd on Fiverr, obviously because there's a lot of competition. So you have to create something that stands out from the crowd, telling you to take your time, add credibility by linking out to your relevant professional networks. Accurately describe your professional skills to help you get more work. Put a face to your name. This is very important. If you don't put your face on Fiverr, then how are people able to trust you? Showing your face really, really matters when it comes to Fiverr, and they're saying that they might ask you to verify your ID, so be aware of that. Now click on continue, and they're giving you early warnings, things that you need to stay away from, like providing misleading or inaccurate information about your identity, soliciting other community members for work on Fiverr, opening duplicate accounts. Remember, you can always create more gigs, but you cannot open or create duplicate accounts, and do not take anything outside of Fiverr, like communication or payments outside of Fiverr. Now click on continue. I'm just gonna put a dummy name here. You can put your profile picture, and I can see that they're asking you to put a profile picture as required. So maybe I'm gonna get a dummy profile picture. Just go for this one right here. For the description, write something about yourself. Make sure that you share a little bit about your work experience, some cool projects that you've completed, and your area of expertise. So, I'm just gonna put something like this. The fact that I've got experience in video editing, I have honed my craft through involvement in high-profile film editing projects. My commitment to delivering unparalleled quality is evident in each endeavor I undertake. Specializing in the intricate world of NFTs, I prioritize client satisfaction, ensuring a seamless and tailored experience. My dedication to both technical prowess and client care positions me as a reliable and sought-after professional in the video editing industry. I invite you to explore the synergy of my expertise and approachability, fostering a collaborative and successful partnership. Language, we're going to put English level, we're going to put native or fluent, whatever applies to you. 
If you have any other languages, you can add new and then click on continue. Your occupation, graphics and design, and then you can choose whatever applies to you. So maybe logo design, illustration, whatever, whatever, right? So I'm just gonna click some random ones again. This depends on what actually applies to you. Choose how long you've been working in this field for a year, from year to year, and then you can add new. I'm not going to do that. I'm just showing you how to do it. So I'm not going to waste time on it. Skills, Adobe Premiere Pro, experience level, put intermediate or expert, and then add new education. You can do that as well. Where have you studied? I'm just gonna put like uh, India, something like that, or United States, whatever applies to you. But your university or college title, this is pretty easy. If you've studied up to a degree level, then you can put MBA. If you've studied up to BA, for MBA, whatever applies to you guys. And then add the same thing, certification, personal websites. If you have a website that you'd like to link to, this is a very, very good marketing tool and it's really good in terms of adding credibility to your profile. So make sure you add a website if you have a website. And now we're going to click on continue. Account security, email, emails verified. You can add a phone number for an added layer of security if you want to. And to finish the creation of your account, you literally click on continue and create your first gig. Just a side note, if you don't complete all your information, they won't allow you to proceed to the next step. So make sure you complete at least 65% of the requirements before you can proceed to the next step. Your seller profile is now complete. After clicking done, navigate to fiverr.com to access the page for creating your first gig. On this page, you'll find fields for the gig title, category, and tags. In upcoming videos, I'll demonstrate how you can create your gigs with SEO-friendly, high-quality content. If you craft your gigs with excellent SEO and quality, your first order will come sooner. Now I'm excited to share some upcoming video topics on this channel. We'll be diving into the world of Fiverr with tutorials on how to create a Fiverr gig and how to rank your Fiverr gig. I believe these videos will significantly boost your earning growth on the platform. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful. If you have any doubts about creating your Fiverr account, feel free to drop a comment and I'll respond promptly. Ensure your profile is comprehensive by connecting your social networks, confirming your phone number, providing certifications, and detailing your experience. Be honest and avoid clever tactics. Genuine information increases the chances of profile acceptance. Feel free to suggest Fiverr video topics with creating a professional gig, attracting customers, and identifying unique gigs as potential ideas. Share your preferences in the comments and I'll create dedicated videos based on your feedback.